What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. We all know that the cost of, well, I think just about everything is more than it's ever been, whether it's filling your car up with gas, whether it's your heating bill, whether it's your property taxes, whether it's your electric bill, whether it's, um, you know, fast food. Groceries are not immune from this, and a family's enormous grocery bill is uh, setting the internet a blaze and well if you've done your own grocery shopping in recent history you know like last six months you're probably not all that surprised by it but it is gigantic considering what they bought now i apparently was under the false pretense that trader joe's was a fancy place i, I thought where i live people grocery shop at walmart or local grocery stores like pick and save it's kind of commonly known that Walmart or um, what's the other store? Meyer. These are big box grocery stores. They're generally the cheapest. And I always thought Trader Joe's was, you know, fancy schmancy for, for rich people. But uh, apparently some people say it's, you know, relatively middle of the road. A California, important point, family's outrageous Trader Joe's bill went viral on social media, igniting a debate about affordability for families when it comes to stocking up their pantries. A video on X capturing a mile long $444 receipt has racked up 17 million views online. The hefty bill filmed by a dad of six in the pricey area of West Lake Village sparked discussions about grocery shopping for families, <clears throat> especially given that Trader Joe's prides itself in its reputation for being a cost effective option. That's the thing. I, I, I always thought Trader Joe's was expensive, but I guess maybe not. Uh, quote, here's what it costs to, fa to, to feed six kids for a week and a half. So that means they're spending $1,000 a month on groceries, right? I think that's fair. A week and a half and a week and a half is three weeks. That'd be $888. Bucks. It'd be over a grand. Over a grand a month. Now, six kids is a lot of kids, to be fair, too. The video revealed by the family's hall, including fresh produce like pricey strawberries at $4.50 a pound, a multi-pack of avocados, and individual cucumbers at $2.50 each. Man, cucumbers are insanely expensive. Chicken and cheese tamales, four bucks. Pancake maple puffs, three bucks. What's this? Tempura shrimp. Nobody needs tempura shrimp. Salsa, two fifty. I mean, a lot of processed food. Organic apple, strawberry, something, three bucks. Pasta. I mean, I don't know. Blueberry waffles, a lot of pre-made meals. But, uh, you know, I suppose when you have six mouths to feed, you don't have time to do all that. The receipt also, the receipt also showcased a stockpile of frozen meals. Trader Joe's chicken and cheese tamales at four bucks each. Chicken dumpling soup, three fifty each. And margarita pizzas at five dollars each. Luxury items weren't absent, though. The most expensive being frozen Korean-style beef short ribs, ribs at $14 each. Other pricier finds include breaded chicken tenderloins for 9 bucks and a decadent ribeye steak for a whole $7. Users are quick to comment the family should go to warehouse stores such as Costco or Sam's Club to save money as Trader Joe's is not designed to feed large families. Shopping at Trader Joe's instead of Costco with six kids is insane, commented one user. Trader Joe's is cheap, but this person didn't buy anything to cook. It's all prepared stuff, which is always way more. Buy ingredients, make food, argued another. Trader Joe's isn't meant for a large family, another user wrote. Others commented that the father bought unnecessary items, and therefore his complaint was unwarranted. Nearly half of everything on this list is organic, which is a luxury. Also things like gnocchi a la Sorrentina, Suffine Capers, Surfine Capers, and Brazil Nut Body Wash, another argued. He's going to cry about prices at least have some buying discipline. And I think that that's all pretty fair. You know, my initial reaction to this receipt was that first I was like, bro, you're shopping at Trader Joe's. Why aren't you shopping at Walmart or uh, Costco or whatever? Uh, but here's the reality about Costco. I, I think it's a misnomer. A Costco people are weird. Um, I love you all, but in my experience, Costco isn't exactly just automatically cheaper than everywhere else. That's how they actually get you. Um, there are some things that are extremely affordable there, like vodka, for example. But other things are far more expensive 
than you know buying from Amazon or the local grocery store. So you always have to have some level of discipline <clears throat> when you're going into that. Aldi, a discount grocery chain known for its low prices, was frequently mentioned as an alternative by commentators. Would cost a third of that at Aldi. Aldi's got you for like 125 bucks. Another chimed in. I mean, it's possible. I think that the combination here, you know, this individual is probably always shopping at Trader Joe's. So he's probably like, wow, this is a really expensive for me. But a lot of things they bought were not great, which I think raises a pretty good point. Obviously, this video is about inflation at the, at, in, in groceries. You can see this. I left my entire cart at Winn-Dixie. That's a grocery store, I think, down south. I've seen them before in like Louisville and stuff like that. Uh, after the bill came to $108, I scanned everything, but Walmart is $50 less. What we're experiencing now is a lot of greed in grocery stores. You know, it's not a coincidence that they're all just suddenly able to, uh, you know, offer these big discounts. It's not a coincidence that McDonald's is suddenly offering $5 value meals. It's not a coincidence that Wendy's and Burger King are following suit. They're not in the business of losing money. You can see, you know, with this article here, July 4th cookout. Okay, so this is last weekend. July 4th cookout inflation hits record high. Your grocery bill may be a shock, but this side dish costs less, experts say. Here's the thing. People are constantly talking about, oh, well, here's another alternative. Here's another alternative. People are like, yo, I don't want to eat the bugs. I don't want the alternative, okay? I want what I get. I want to make burgers and brats. I want to do what I want to do. I want to make the food I want to make, and I don't want to pay 30% more for it. You can see this, some of the key points. Two pounds of ground beef, up 11% from just one year ago. Hamburger buns, up 7% from just a year ago. How uh, you can see this, um, the impact of inflation on everyday items doesn't take a vacation and many Americans are witnessing rising prices during the Independence Day celebrations. A basket of products for the traditional 4th of July cookout will reach its highest level ever recorded, according to a survey run by American Farm Bureau. This year, a cookout for 10 people will cost $71.22, reflecting a 5% increase from last year and a staggering 30% rise from just five years ago. This equates to $7.12 a person, the highest per person cost in history. Well, as probably since they start recording. Nationally, this means we are surpassing the $7 per person for the very first time, with the total net meal coming to $7.12. Traders are monitoring. Yeah, this is a, a site, you know, that shills a lot of stuff, but there's good articles here. Here. Meat costs, the hefty burden. Ground beef, two pounds, cost $12.77, uh, $12 up 11% from last year. Nelson highlighted that the smallest, smallest cattle inventory in 73 years, combined with high summer demand and improved drought conditions, is driving up beef prices. Pork chops, $15.50 for two pounds, an 8% increase. Chicken breasts are $7.83, two pounds, a 4% decrease. Okay, shout out so you can get some chickens. So that's down. Of course, beef prices are out, outpacing inflation. Who's Nobody's shocked by that. Side dishes are going up insanely high. Ice cream's up 7%. That's not a requirement. Lemonade's up 12%. Hamburger buns up 7%. Um, you know, it, it's, it's wild. Out west, it's even worse. $80. It's over $8.80 per person. It, this is, again, any one thing. Okay, any one thing is like palatable, right? People are like, okay, well, and there's this one thing that was more expensive, but that's not how it is out there. And by the way, 30% in five years, I mean, are you making 30% more than you were five years ago? I'm not. I'm making less than I was five years ago. I have less left over now than five years ago because everything else costs more expensive. Everything else is more expensive. My electric bill is up. Property taxes are up. He, um, you know, internet bills up, TV bills are up, everything is going up, food is up, gas is up. I mean, the, the cost of living is has gone nothing but up. And yet, you know, our leadership keeps telling me that, oh, you know, things are great. You're don't let your lying eyes deceive you. You see, this Walmart's buy again option reveals wild grocery inflation prices. I mean, yeah. Why why would you why would you 
be surprised by that. Now, why do you think that Aldi is pushing to its highest record sales? It's because everyone has to ship or trade, I'm sorry, swap out to go to a, uh, a more affordable option. Not that there's anything wrong with Aldi's, but you see this. People have been complaining about the increase in basic necessities for a while now. It seems that things are just simply costing astronomically more than they were a few short years ago. One TikTok creator found himself in need of more groceries and opened up his Walmart account to reorder some food. While his account, he saw the reorder all option, which is handy in a pinch, and decided to check out how much the groceries were from just a couple years ago. Turns out his groceries were a pretty reasonable price for 45 items. It's when he clicked the reorder all that things of the exact same items sent him into a cold sweat. The 45 items purchased just two years ago were $126. Now this item, the same cost as 414. That's four times more now. Certainly maybe he had some sort of, you know, one or two things that's, um, you know, that were mispriced or some of that nature. But it's like, I'm out there. I talk to people. I read the comment section in my videos. Nobody's telling me, yo, Jeremy, everything's actually much cheaper. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm living in piles of money. I've never had more money. That's just not a thing. That's, that, that's not a thing at all. Things have never been more expensive. I hope you enjoyed this video or you were informed by it. If you are, please, if you were, please do leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.